What's up, Internet? Kung naganap ka nung i5 13600K, which is a very good mid-range CPU for Intel builds. Although for my own system, I do use an AMD CPU. Be sure to get it at the price of 18250 That's the lowest price we've seen this month. Every month, we survey CPU and GPU prices from the four largest PC retail stores in the country para may idea tayo on what a good price is, the average price for computer hardware. Yung 13600K na yan, the most expensive price you've seen it going for is 19,900. That's a 9% difference from the cheapest price. And you might be thinking, what's the big deal, 9%? Pero kung isipin mo, yung pinakamataas na interest rate ngayon for time deposits from the online banks is around 6.5% per annum. So if you're talking about the same price range as the 13600K, inipon mo yun, dinagay mo sa banko, it earns interest, nakain na nung cost difference between the cheapest store and the most expensive store, yung naipon mo na interest. Lampas na lampas pa yung price difference dun sa highest interest rate that you can get for your money. Even among the big PC stores, there are big price differences for various items and knowing what the average price is plus what the cheapest price is can really save you a lot of money if you're going to buy and that's the point of this video. And 9% is nothing. Yung pinakamalaking price difference na nakita namin over 100% double the price for a GPU between two different shops. And we have all of this data in the Google Sheet. The link is in the video description below. You can go check it out and look at the numbers. We're going to be breaking down the numbers after this short usual word from our sponsor. So ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sudden depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Alright, spreadsheet time. And again, you can find this data in the Google Sheet. The link is in the description below. Important note, NVIDIA recently released three new GPUs, 4070 Super, 4080 Super, and the 4070 Ti Super. Or is it 4070 Super Ti? Basta, yung Ti, nadagdagan pa ng Super. And the 4070 Super and the 4080 Super are faster than the base, than the normal, than the non-super cards. But here in the Philippines, mas mahal pa yung base cards. I don't know why. Um, hindi pa nakahabol yung mga shops natin. Basically, they bought inventory of the 4070, 4080. Ayaw nila malugi, so they're still selling it at the same prices. Even though the super cards, especially the 4070 super and the 4080 super, are faster and they're cheaper now. So just like between the 3060 and the 4060, if you see a price difference between the 4070 Super and the 4070, na mas mura yung 4070 Super, just get the 4070 Super. Especially for the 4070 Super, mas malaki yung performance increase niya over the 4070. Yung 4080 Super kasi may, may performance increase naman talaga, pero maliit lang, 3-5%. But if you're in that market and mas mura yung 4080 Super, no-brainer, just get the Super version it's cheaper and it's faster shops still have the base cards 4070 4080 at more expensive prices than the new super models get the new super models if they're cheaper than the base models so we usually start out with this tab yung summary so we do take a look at four different shops but we average the data so that it's easy to tell at a glance kung okay ba yung price for a one item now, we can't cover all items and daming CPUs and daming GPUs in the market, but we try to have a good mix of entry level, high end, mid range, so that 
even if the part that you're looking for is not here, at least may general sense ka, you can compare that part to comparable parts which do have prices here on our sheet. First up, the 1650, slight price decrease from before. 3050, same slight price decrease. Actually, an 800 peso difference. So these are the averages again, not too bad. You'll notice na color coded kung price drop from last month naka blue and then red 3060. So the 3060, we always put the 12 gigabyte version. And for the past six months, ever since Lombas yung 4060, Usually, mas mahal yung 3060 kaysa sa 4060 as it is here now. There's no reason for that at all. I'm pa well, paulit ulit lang ako sa price watch. The 3060 is slower, it uses more power, it should be cheaper than the 4060. And yet, you have the 4060 na masabilis, that uses less power, it has more advanced DLSS features or yung AI upscaling technology ni NVIDIA. And yet, it's cheaper than the 3060. If you're comparing, should I get 3060, 4060, and the 3060 is more expensive, just go ahead and get the 4060, which is cheaper this month at around 18,800. Slight price decrease from January. 4070 actually went up. The 4080 went down, not bad, around almost 5%. And then the 4090 jumped, but we will tell, not, it wasn't, you know, actually, pataas siya ng pataas. 111,126. And I think this is the AI crunch. We've been talking to our suppliers. We've been asking them, kailan ka magkaka-restock ng 4090? Sobrang hirap magka-restock ng 4090. They can't tell us when they'll be getting more. It is expensive, but available units on the market, hindi rin mabilis kumalaw, so may natira pa. But new models are not coming in. So I think over the past few months, you know, you know October, decente pa, 111,000. Same with November, slight price increase lang. But then, pakiat siya ng pakiat since December. Although the main reason for this big jump, 131 to 148, is one of the shops has a... Uh, Yung pinakamura na 4090 nila because that's how we get the prices. We always just look for the cheapest of that kind of card. Yung pinakamura nila 4090 is a water cooled GPU from Asus Atana, 200 plus thousand pesos. So, aangat talaga yung average price once you factor that guy in. Entry level 6600 actually went up, although it's still cheaper than it was December. Although, this December price is not that reflective or it's not a good average because there was one shop in december na sobrang umakyat yung price and then it went down again in january so 13,000 or so not bad mid-range 7700 xt amd slight price decrease good value for money if you're not looking for like the best uh, rtx performance and the top of the line of amd which is just Roughly analogous to the 4080, so not even. Di mo pwede compare yung 7900 XTX sa 4090. They're just in different leagues. It went up slightly at 67,250. But you notice the top tier card of AMD is even cheaper than the enthusiast level card, but not even the top of the line of Nvidia. 7950X slight price increase, and then this is beautiful. A lot of the AMD CPUs, especially from the 5000 series, AM4, so Lumang platform na siya, but still pretty good in terms of performance, excellent for price, excellent for price to performance, yung value for money, and they have all gone down, the 5600G, very popular, 5600X, and nice to see the 7000 series coming down as well, in particular, the 7800X3D, which is a little hard to find, but if you can find it and you have the budget for it, excellent gaming CPU. We do have other videos explaining why the X3D architecture or mentioning why the X3D architecture for AMD is preferred for games compared to just stacking on more cores dun sa CPU. 3900K, not the top of the line, but basically, you know, roughly at par pa rin. Very slight performance difference lang naman between the 4900K and the 3900K. No price change. But the 14700K has went up. The 13600K has gone up. The two generations behind 12500 is slightly cheaper. So, you look at AMD, where most of the CPUs that people look for, ito yung mga hinahanap talaga ng matao eh. Especially if you're a gamer like this one, looking for entry-level AM5, entry-level AM4, and 
good budget CPU kasi may kasama ng APU. You don't need a GPU if you have the R5 5600G. All of these guys went down in price. The Intel naman either remained the same, went up for... These are the kind of models that you would look for enthusiasts or even mid-range builds to use to maas yung prices nila. And you know, entry level, you might want to go with a 12th gen, but it is a little old if you're considering a mid-range rig or an enthusiast rig. So these are the average prices, but we also do a shop deep dive. So we don't tell you what the shops are. We're like, we don't tell you this is Space Quest or this is, I mean, you know, you, the PC, whatever. Uh, we don't tell you the names because we don't want to give free marketing to our competitors. So we hide them behind names from science fiction. But consistent to mga names ato. So itong wedge, the shop that we refer to as wedge, is the same shop that we've been looking at from the start because we have data stretching all the way back to October 2022. So we've been doing this for more than a year na, and all all of the all the four shops have remained the same. We just swap out the model sometimes. This is color coded, and we have the average rate here. But this is the data that you already saw in the previous tab. So color coded as well, if it went down from last month, so that's good, it's in blue. And if it went up, that's in red. Yung striking lang dito, maraming GPU ni Joker tumaas. And this is the 4090 I was talking about. It's at 220,000. It's an Asus ROG Matrix Platinum 4090. If you're looking for a 4090, you don't need to get that super expensive. The cheapest one we found was an MSI 4090 Ventus at around 104,000. So this 200 plus thousand price really skews the average. Although, hindi rin ganun kamura yung other remaining at around 122 from Gigabyte from being sold by Wedge. But still, you know, 100, 5,000 pesos for 4090 from Wash, you get a 4090 Ventus. I mean, if you do have the budget for something like that, you know, 105, 104 is a lot better than 220,000. I mean, this is just bonkers. Basically, that's you're getting the same GPU, right? I mean, of course, it will find to me. Uh, it I think may custom water cooling thing, but I mean, how how much are you gonna overclock that thing anyway? The 4080, you know, is at around 80,000. It's, you know, it's a lot of money, but like if you can score this one, again from Wash, Wash has good GPU prices. So it's the Pro Art one from ASUS. 80,000 for that. I mean, if you're in the market for a very fast GPU, you know, that's, that's decent. And you think, well, you know, I just put in 25,000 more for a 4090. Di ganun kalayo yung 80 tsaka 105. Malayo yun, guys. <laughs> That's like, you know, 20, 25% more or something in terms of percentages. So at 80,000 for a 4080, mm, uh, compared to the other prices, oh, not too bad. And the cheapest one actually is the 4080 Eagle at only around 79,000 pesos. AMD cards, Roy doesn't carry a lot. Joker doesn't carry any. So always a bit harder to find AMD cards, but we did round up, you know, some samples and we do note when we are unable to find the full range the from each of the four PC shops. And then scrolling down to CPUs, not much change. CPU market less volatile than the GPU market. Although as noted, the AMD prices are looking better than the Intel prices, at least currently. So I don't know if you'll be buying anytime soon. A lot of our customers actually bumili na nung December, early January with their bonus and things like that. So medyo lelo muna tayo during the early months of the year. But if you are thinking of getting a CPU or a GPU, I hope this helps you out. We have historical prices again here on the Google Sheet. You can find it anytime. This is up 24-7, available. You, you can see it anytime you want and it will be updated once a month. And yeah, we'll do another Price Watch episode in March. No price catalysts, like we're not expecting anything major to impact the market, at least in the next couple of months. The Super NVIDIA GPUs uh, were a nice surprise. At least, you know, mas mura sila and they are faster. Just don't get confused. Like, you might be wondering, but mas mahal yung mga base models. That's because that's old stock and the shops don't want to bring the price down. Baka malugi sila. And I can sympathize. You know, I've been there. Hardware Sugar, we buy a part, di na benta ka agad, and then biglang naka-promo yung supplier, or yun nga, naglabasa ng bagong model. So, yung shop yung naiipit. Um, and... It's interesting for me as someone who owns a shop, and then, but also looking at the prices that other shops charge. Uh, I can appreciate you know, the concerns of the business owner and also the co customer because 
I'm a customer also. Sometimes, nga, sometimes you know, the, the prices of these other shops are super cheap. I don't know how they do it. Um, but I guess that's a video for another time. Thanks for watching. If you do decide to buy now, buy it. Don't worry anymore if the price will go up or down. Once na it mo na, nabili mo na, buy it, install it, enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.